breach in general is now five years on the road. Uh, and in particular, the tool we discussed today is risk management and do we use the right risk management tools. So it's time to have a look back and see what we learn from it. Well, the REACH uh, directive has been put into motion um, and they've had the first stream of uh, applications. Now, the problem is they were focusing on the big companies. Now they're going for the second trench and that'll be mainly SMEs. And that's where I think we're going to have problems. REACH was originally designed for the big manufacturers. So let's be open about it. Now, we realized during the process, certainly at registration, that we should assure that uh, small and medium companies could get the service, could be helped. That resulted in consortia doing the work together to register. Now in the authorization, we came to the conclusion that the manufacturers very often don't play that role anymore. So it's up to those smaller downstream users, SMEs, and that is new. Well, the real concerns is if we don't get it right, we will have jobs loss. Um, companies will have to close because they won't be able to use the substances. So it's very important that we look at how this directive is going to be applied. We make sure it's fit for, uh, for application for SMEs, that it's costing at the right level, that the procedure's easy for them to um, uh, apply or to ask for exemption. We certainly had some cases so far where a substance was put on the, on the authorization list, went through the whole system, and then, as a consequence, what happened? Industry, for example, put it not anymore in the market, but in the waste bin, put it as a waste disposal site. That's never the intention of reach. It actually may create a risk. Or alternatively, uh, the manufacturing industry using that went outside Europe and just imported the articles. So it didn't resolve the issue. It didn't resolve the substitution, if that was all the aim and being effective. It just replaced it to somewhere else beyond the control of the EU. It has become much more clear that it's not the manufacturers and importers of the substance which are traditionally the ones dealing with chemicals legislation who are confronted by authorization, but much more the downstream users who are using it. And they now probably start waking up and seeing that they should get involved, they should get in touch with their manufacturers, with their suppliers, and ensure that the use, the specific use which they have for these substances, will be authorized in the system. Because otherwise they will have a problem in terms of continuing uh, the use of their chemicals. Very clearly, a couple of smaller issues may help both industry as well as society. One, doing an assessment about what is an appropriate risk management tool up front. Two, provide supports for SMEs who enter into the system because they are not capable. And three, a tariff reflection if all the steps from selection up to prioritization up to application is really efficient. There are many areas where the system isn't efficient and we're relatively small, sometimes requesting courageous decisions can help industry and society to make the system more relevant and that's what we're asking for. The key debate which is taking place here and which is taking place with the member states is what kind of risk management measure do we need to implement for a certain chemical and at what point in time do we need to discuss and, and agree on that. And what is happening with the member states is there's a general consensus that it would be good even though the legislation doesn't tell us to do so, that it would be good to have a discussion up front before the decision is taken, whether it should be authorization, restriction, or potentially another measure which should be taken. That debate uh, has been taking place for quite a few years now with the member states. There's a general agreement that this uh, process, which is called risk management option analysis, should take place. Uh, it's now a matter of implementing it in practice and making sure that everybody, let's say, plays the game here. We don't contest the aims of REACH, but we want to be correctly applied and not ineffective and ensuring that the competitiveness of the industry remains well on the table during this debate.